Unlock Your Superpowers Challenge right here in the Unleash Your Inner Healer group. So while we're gathering our collective here, I'd love to hear from each of you in the comments, what superpower are you activating through this challenge? And if you're not sure what your special superpower is, just say what superpower you would like to activate through this challenge. Good morning, Lori. Yay, you just finished video one. Tell me what did you get out of that video and what superpower are you activating? We are going to do some specific exercises today to help you tune in to the universal consciousness, tune in to the um, quantum field, the, uh, gosh, the unified field, I think is what they like to call it, those scientists, those crazy scientists who look at everything after it's proved and we all know that anything is possible nancy says she's only halfway through day one so a little behind that's okay nancy because i am going to give you all the way through the weekend to catch up so just take a breath into that allow yourself to rest in knowing that you have all the time in the world. And um, when we go into these exercises, when we drop our awareness into our body and tune into subtle awareness and activate the brain power in the gut and the heart and all of those energy centers in the body, though we actually go outside of time space because in this physical reality where we experience things entirely through the physical senses of our body everything takes time and when we go into the connection with the universal consciousness the experience of life through the quantum field then time becomes irrelevant so take your time you have plenty of time to catch up nancy says she's on superpower peacemaker for the neighborhood and the doggies yes you are very natural to that role and i wonder nancy you are such a superpower connector between humans and their pets and so tune in when we do the exercises today tune in to that assistance that's available to you in the quantum field good morning elmer Lori wants to get rid of judgment and expecting people to do what she wishes Lori, that is such a good intention so one of the things that i will say to that to expecting people to change is to 
to take the time when you want to release the judgment and expectations of others, you may need to look at how you are judging and setting unreasonable expectations for yourself. That's the first step. And then the second step is to look at the situation, the relationship with the other that you are putting unreasonable expectations on and ask yourself, what can I change in this situation? We know we can't change others. We can make requests to others. We can ask them to show up for us in a different way, but we cannot choose that change for them. So remember to look within yourself. What can you change within you? Is the situation something that you can shift and be more comfortable in? Or is it a situation that you need to just move away from? And that's okay too. So shifting your tendency to judge yourself is going to really help releasing judgments of others. Hello, beautiful love, Linda, Linda love. I love how you made your lit name Linda love because you are just such a beacon of love. I'm so happy you're here, Linda. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All right, so we are still gathering, and I still want to hear from a few more of you. What is the superpower that you are activating? Because when you set your intention before we do the exercises, you will have much more immediate and noticeable results. You can go into this with just the surrender to the universe and the highest good. That also does work. And yet, if you want to create specific results, then it's important to look at what that vision is. So um, Nancy is saying sometimes the best thing is to let go and walk away and allow to be. Yes, this is when... We find ourselves judging others and having expectations that we know are unreasonable. Hello, Crystal. Crystal Halo, nice to see you. I am loving that I can interact with your comments while I'm here live on the video. This is so much fun. So we're gonna get started with the exercises momentarily. Drop in the comments, what superpower are you activating? And then we're going to tune into the vision of what it looks like when that superpower is fully activated and you are fully in your power, fully on your path of highest good. And then we're going to drop the attention into the body and the collective field and turn on the innate wisdom of the body. So you don't have to think of the details of how it's going to happen, just what it is that you would like to create. Linda Love says she is activating her channeling superpower. She is a beacon of messages, yes. Okay, Laurie says, it's so hard when it's your son. I can't just walk away. Need not need to not expect him to be what I want him to be. So you can hold unconditional love and compassion. And sometimes that does mean walking away from an uncomfortable situation, even with someone that you love and care about like your son, because he is his own person, right? He is going to make his own decisions. All you can do as his mother is offer him your insight and wisdom, and then it's up to him whether he uses it. But know and understand that he is receiving that from you, and he has to go through his own process. He's here on his own journey. So tap into, in these exercises, Lori, tap into your superpower of non-judgmental compassion and how compassion does not mean enabling. 
compassion just means understanding that he has to go through his own process. And the more you bring your energy back to you and what you can do to make your life better, the more that's going to rub off on him. So Crystal says her superpower is activating unconditional love of self and others. Oh, I love that we have that in the mix. Nancy wants to ignite the superpower of waking all humans to hear and empathize with their pets, animals, into caring for them in a higher loving manner with grace and kindness in the waking. Beautiful, Nancy. Yes, because you can't be there for every single person to connect for them. So and when we activate that for other humans, that is going to do some serious magic on the planet. Linda says, we are souls that need to focus on ourselves. Spreading seeds of love will turn the switch inside another when they choose. It's their time to be fully open. I love a lot of those I love from a distance. Yes, you can continue to love. You can continue to hold space for the healing of. And yet, if it is taking your energy from stepping into your highest good, then it's better to love from a distance sometimes. Yay, I'm glad you're receiving all this wisdom from the collective today, Lori. Elmer says, activating light language for healing self and others. Okay, awesome. We have some really good superpowers coming into our collective. And so we're going to go ahead and start the practice. So this practice you can do either seated or standing. I'm going to show you the seated version, and then I'm going to do it standing because I like the standing version. But if you need to be seated, then you can sit on your chair. I'm on this little stool, so I don't really need to move forward. But if you're on a chair with a back or one that pulls you into it, then just scoot yourself to the front edge so you really have solid foundation of your sit bones. Your feet are flat on the floor. If you're standing, let's see if I can get my camera angled properly for standing. If you're standing, your feet will be right below your shoulders. I know you can't see my feet, so just imagine this line from your shoulders running right down to your feet. Your toes are pointing straight forward. So look down at your feet and draw a line through the center of your feet and it is parallel. And within this postural awareness, know that you also can adjust to make your body comfortable. So any time that you feel, now if it just feels a little awkward, then try to stay in the alignment that I'm suggesting. If you feel any pain, then make any micro adjustments necessary to avoid pain, including sitting down as necessary. Okay, so finding your foundation, bend the knees softly and feel the weight really grounding into the earth. Take your tailbone down like there is an anchor dropping from your tailbone into the earth. Feel how that releases the tension in the lower back. So the lower belly is just gently drawing in to support the opening of the lower back. The chin is gently drawing back as the base of the skull lifts, lengthening the spine in both directions. And touch into your breath. Take a deeper breath as if you can fill up all the way from the soles of your feet to the crown of your head. And as you breathe, Tune into the central channel, feeling the core of the pelvis, the perineum, the space at the base of the pelvis between the pelvic bones. As you inhale, drop that down towards the earth as if it's blossoming like a flower to receive the energy of the earth. 
And as you exhale, gently draw that flower in and up and send the energy all the way through the central channel, up through the crown of the head to the heavens. Here, as you inhale, open the flower at the crown, the, the thousand petaled lotus, gathering energy from the heavens. As you exhale, feel that bathing the top of your head and melting down through your body into the earth. Continue to breathe a few times like this, making the arms soft and round at the sides, breathing from the earth to the heavens, from the heavens to the earth. Surrender onto the support running through your central channel. And then as you continue these deep full breaths through the central channel, rock your weight softly forward and back, finding the edges of your balance point, feeling that central channel moving with you. And then go side to side, noticing one knee will bend as it takes your weight. See if you can keep your central channel aligned between heaven and earth. And then softly spiraling in circles, feeling that you are spiraling around this central channel and it is still fully supporting you from within. Now the other way. Spiral slower and smaller, smaller and slower until you spiral into stillness. And then open your hands to the sides. Imagine you can place your past in one hand all of your past experiences, all of your cares and concerns, all of your struggles and traumas, even the ancestral experiences that you carry with you, just condense them all into a palm full of energy. And then into the other hand, place your future all of your wishes and dreams, your fears and apprehensions, your visions and imaginings, all condensed into a palm-sized ball of energy in your hand. Take a moment to feel this feeling of holding the weight of your past and your future in your hands. Take a deep breath. And as you exhale, condense all of the energy of the past and the future into this sliver of the present and rest your awareness there, bringing all of your awareness into this thin sliver of a moment that is the now. Now staying centered along the midline, bring your hands to the sides again in a nice round shape, feeling the space under the arms as if you're carrying two big fluffy pillows. And now bring your awareness into your body, just noticing any sensations in your body Let's scan down, starting at the crown of the head. What do you notice in your brain? What do you notice in your throat and your neck? What do you notice in your shoulders and your chest, your arms and hands? What do you notice in your back and your belly? What do you notice in your legs and your feet? And now tune into the space inside of you. 
the space between the molecules of your being. The space between your heart and your head. The space between your belly and the earth. And then begin to breathe more space into your body, expanding the space under your arms and then relaxing onto that spaciousness with each breath, just allowing the breath to gently move you in space. And now bring your awareness into the space between you and your video screen the space to the right and left of your body, the space behind you, the space above and below you. Expand your awareness to fill the space of the room you are in, and then move it out into the space around your house the space in between the houses of your neighborhood, the space between the trees in your neighborhood and the trees here in Oregon, the space all around the planet Earth, and then send your awareness out even into the spaciousness of space of the universe. Keep breathing connection between the space within you and the infinite space of the universe. And then bring all of that spaciousness through your awareness back into your body. You may feel larger than life right now. So allow that feeling as the space, the infinite spaciousness fills you up. Allow yourself to feel larger than life in this moment. Breathe even more space into yourself, expanding, growing larger. Softening on the exhale, bring the arms around in front of you, the hands resting as if cradling a giant beach ball. The, the hands are right below the height of the navel and the palms are aiming towards your chest. Inhale, expand the space between your hands, your forearms, your biceps. Feel as if the breath is just pushing them apart. Exhale, feel the space between your hands and arms condensing and growing stronger. Inhale, grow larger. Exhale, come together. Slow down the breath and let it be even deeper as you inhale and expand. Exhale, come together. Notice the sensations as you do this exercise. Inhale, growing larger. You may be feeling heat or vibration or coolness or heaviness. Now spiral as if reaching down into a bucket and gently splashing it onto you. Imagine you are gathering a mist that is rising from the earth. When you move slowly, you can connect with this mist and shower it up onto yourself. If you move too quickly, it will dissipate. So however slow you're moving, move twice as slow. Spiraling into stillness and then gently pulse side to side. Feel as if you are touching a bubble and you do not want it to pop. So touch softly, touch gently, and then gently pulse in and out towards and away from your body. And then pause in stillness. Feel the energy coursing through your body. 
Then take a deep breath, raise the hands up to the height of the chest. Exhale, relax the shoulders. The elbows sink lower than the hands. Imagine your hands are resting on clouds and then let the breath move you. Inhale, expand. Loading out, exhale, come together. The energy grows stronger. Inhale, grow larger. Exhale, come together. Inhale, expand the space. Exhale, relax. One more time. Deeper, fuller breath, slower, softer movement, and then gently spiral, wafting the energy of the universe into your heart. Receive it in the center of your being, feeling your power grow stronger. And then pause in stillness as if hugging a tree. Inhale, raise the hands up over the head. The palms are aiming towards the third eye and crown. Inhale, expand, relax the shoulders. Exhale, come together softly, feeling the energy as if when you inhale, you're pulling taffy between your fingers. And when you exhale, the energy, the magnetism between your hands is condensing and growing stronger. One more time, and then softly spiral, gathering energy from the universe and showering it down onto your head. Pause and press, sending it inside. And then take a deep breath, raise the hands slightly, and as you exhale, press the energy through your crown, through the center of your brain, your third eye, through the throat, through the heart, through the solar plexus. And when you reach the height of the navel, shift your weight back slightly and send it all the way down through your legs and into the earth. Raise the hands slightly and spiral, sending it back to the earth. And then wrap it around you. And we're going to do an exercise to clear the central channel now that we have activated the spaciousness within and connected the heaven and the earth. We're going to clear the central channel and activate the toroidal field, which you may remember from yesterday, is an expression of the heart field that comes up through the center and around the outside. So take your feet a little wider and aim your toes at a 45 degree angle. So when you bend your knees, your knees will go right over your toes. We're going to start with the fingers down, palms together. When the hands reach the height of the throat, they turn over. So at first, we bend the knees deeply, bend them a little or a lot according to how it feels in your body, grasp the energy of the earth, and with a deep breath, pull it up through your central channel, turning the hands over at the height of the throat, continue to send it up and out through the crown, turn the palms out, and then bring that down and around outside the outer edges of your energy field. We're gonna move a little faster as you get it. Inhale, exhale, feeling the central channel clear and open, and then feeling the outer energies of your auric field strengthening and growing stronger. How far out does your energy reach? Is it just at your fingertips? Or is it filling up the room? Is it even going outside of the room that you're in?
keep going. And now we're going to pause at the top and twist from the waist to activate the front and back energy fields, the diagonals, and then the other side. One more time to the sides. One more time, really slow, walking the feet in a little closer. And then coming back in to center with the feet right under the shoulders, the arms relaxing, feeling the space between the arms and the body. And now come back into the awareness of your central channel one more time. And we're going to imagine a pendulum. Imagine a crystal at the core of your pelvis dropping down on a golden cord into the earth, arriving about six inches below your feet, suspended in the earth's energy. This is the earth star chakra. Tune into the sensation of having a pendulum dangling from your lower chakra into the earth. And then, and then follow that line up through the central channel to a space six inches above the crown of your head and see another crystalline structure here. And this is the top of your pendulum. This is where the fingers of the universe will gently hold your pendulum. And now tuning in to the sensation of this pendulum hanging from your central channel and into the earth, allow it to become like a guidance system for you. Tune in to what does yes feel like? Or which direction are you feeling pulled? Is it time to rest back or move forward? Do you need to shift to one side or the other? Once you have a good sense of what your inner pendulum feels like, tune in to any question that you would like to ask your higher self, the universal consciousness. God, the quantum field, the energy of the universe. Breathe fully and softly as you tune in to your question and then gently allow the answer. can come back to this exercise at any time if you're not complete. We're going to close the practice for now, gathering energy from all around, bring, bring the feet in closer, and press all of that energy down through your central channel, grounding back into the body, back into your connection with the earth. I'm going to come back in to check in with you all. Please share what you received or experienced from that short practice. Good morning, CP. Hi, Tina. Okay, Nancy, let me know how it goes when you get a chance to come back and do the exercise. So I'm going to hang out for just a couple more minutes to see what you all have to say. And while I'm waiting for the comments to come through, I want to remind you that when you participate in all three days, invite your friends, tag them, do the practices, share your feedback and your takeaways, 
you will be qualified to enter a drawing for one of three personal energy healing sessions. The drawing will happen on Monday morning at 8 a.m., same time, same place, Monday morning. Be sure to come back tomorrow. And whether you win a session or not, if you watch even one of these videos and comment, then you are qualified for a free 30-minute inner healer breakthrough session. This is an opportunity to sit down with me to share your goals and challenges and to get some personalized tips and insight into your next steps on your healer's journey. So please take advantage of this special offer that I really offer to you as my community, as my group, because it is my mission to bring as many humans as possible into direct connection with true source energy, knowing who you truly are and what your mission is, and then to help you prepare for that mission. We need to cultivate our selves, our connection. We need to create a practice that brings us into this awareness. So this little practice that we did today is just one of the ways that I work with my clients and I would love to share more with you. So please take advantage of this offer. I am leaving town next week, so I have just a few spots open to sit down with you. So you don't have to wait until the challenge is over. You can make that appointment right away. I'm gonna drop the link for that into the comments so that you can take advantage of my um, Inner Healer Breakthrough Session offer right away if you are feeling like you would like that extra personalized guidance. And now let's see, we've got some more comments coming through. Laurie says, feel such peace. Elmer, it was beautiful. Linda says, holy magnetism. I'm tingling all the way through my crown to the base of my spine. So grounding, beautiful. My question was, how do I relax to make channeling easier? I heard I'm doing the answer right now. Beautiful, yes. So this practice was specifically designed to clear your channel and open you up. So wonderful i'm glad you got that response from your inner wisdom as well what a great confirmation to know that i'm doing my job nancy says being a winner from my last challenge you will want to win this ah uh, thank you for that nancy i really enjoyed our time together after the last challenge Linda says, this was so calming and relaxing, something that my hyper energy self needed. Good, good, Linda. Keep it up. You can repeat this whenever you want. You can repeat pieces of it, or you can come back to the recording and do the whole thing. CP says, energy is light and vibrant. Thank you, you are amazing. Thank you, my dear. You are amazing as well. So happy that you were able to join in and you are so very welcome, Lori. So you may um, love you too, Linda. You are so much love. So glad that you're part of my community. Um, right now, Nancy, I am just using Facebook Live for these videos. Thanks for asking. So um, I'd love to hear, you know, sometimes we get after effects. So I'd love to hear anything 
that you notice throughout your day from doing these exercises, drop me a line, let me know, make a post. If you feel, if you get really excited about this, make a post and tag me so that I can see how this is affecting your life. And it is 8.44 a.m. here in Oregon, and I'm going to sign off for now. Make sure that you come back tomorrow. Um, catch up if you're behind on yesterday's video. And I will see you soon. Sending so much love and blessings your way. Namaste.